And we are live. Hey there, everybody. It sounds like my upstairs neighbors are being obnoxious again. They're just jumping and stomping around. So, today we are off to Super Mario 3D All-Stars, Mario Galaxy. One of my all-time favorite games. Now, I'm currently doing this with just holding the Joy-Cons, because I assume the game's going to control as if this was a Wii Remote and Nunchuck. If it doesn't, I do now have a Pro Controller though, which is awesome. Works great, I tried it out, just messed around a little bit in 64. So I assume that it's going to work similarly to how it did on the Wii, but with the Joy-Cons. Yep, it is. Okay, this is going to be awkward. This is definitely going to be a little bit awkward. It's partially because the Joy-Cons are kind of small. Yashi, Yashi is cute. Yeah, it doesn't help that the Joy-Cons are kind of small. Especially compared to a Wii Remote. All right, I think we are ready. And yes, this game actually allows two player, which is really fun. So if you have a second person here, they can do some various things. They can mess around some. It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice to have a second player in this game, especially Galaxy 2. Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. Hey, Trophy and Chivos. And I'll agree that Galaxy 1 is better than 2. 2's not bad, it's just not quite as good. Hey, in 7. The Toads brought the shooting stars to the castle where they became a great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, to be held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. Dear Mario, I'll be waiting for you at the castle on the night of the Star Festival. There's something I'd like to give you. Oh, Peach. I think you got Mario ready. I think you got, uh, I think Mario knows what that means. I think he's very excited for it. Teehee. Oh, this is... Okay, at least with this game, it makes sense to have separated controllers. But the weird thing is, like... I'm gonna have to figure out the pointer situation, because the Switch doesn't have a sensor bar to it, like the Wii did. Which makes me wonder how this... I'm assuming it's connected through my Switch, and that's where it's seeing it from. In which case, I may need to move my Switch over a little bit. Yeah, I haven't played this since the Wii either. You used to have low battery symbols. Yeah, I mean, I still have a couple of the early Wii remotes. They uh, they don't have the best battery life. Although the PS4 battery life isn't that good either, I'll say that. Now we get to cutscene. With Bowser. He has a fleet of airships. Where do you get the money for him? Finishing off my cup of half caffeine coffee. God, I am so full though. I ate horribly earlier because there was a food truck. It's like a traveling food truck that showed up nearby. And they serve not not like a normal food truck that serves, you know, burgers or hot dogs or something like that. No. This was a carnival food food truck. One that serves carnival and fair foods. Now, if you don't live in the United States, that means that they serve basically the most horrible for you, unhealthy, sugary, fat, fried foods you can possibly eat. And they all taste delicious, but that's what they serve. So, I'm not just talking things like snow cones, popcorn, candy apples, and snow cones, or ice cream, I mean. I'm talking things like 
I, I'm gonna sound, it's gonna sound bad for those of you maybe outside of the US or especially outside of the Southeastern United States. Funnel cakes, uh, really, like, really greasy fries, and deep fried candy. Primarily deep fried Snickers, and I got myself some deep fried Oreos. Which is literally you dunk Oreos in a special deep frying batter and then cover them with powdered sugar. And it's, and it's delicious. There's no denying that it's delicious. And it's absolutely horrible for you. Reinforcing American stereotypes here. Yeah, I drink coffee. I drink coffee about every day. I love coffee. I didn't used to. So yeah, that was a uh, that was a fun experience because I haven't had anything deep fried in a long time, like a couple years probably. So yeah, it was horribly unhealthy, but it tasted delicious. So that's okay. You're having a pumpkin spice latte. Still never had one and still never intend to have one. So that makes it look like the Earth's like really small or whatever planet the Mushroom Kingdom is on. I wonder what all the lore is on that now. I'm sure that there's more lore and stuff to it. I don't drink any energy drinks. All the caffeine I get is mostly from coffee. I I do not drink any energy drinks. I haven't had an energy drink in many years. And that's how Mario died. The end. So apparently, Bowser and the Mushroom Kingdom have developed a warp speed drive. So compared to Mario 64, this is a game that I have played extensively and have 100% it a couple of times. Well, the Mario side of it, at least. I don't think I've ever 100% of the second half of the game. But I've 100% of the Mario side at least a couple of times. Oh, I don't have my pointer yet. Jump with B, I can also jump with A. But I know a lot more about this game than 64. Same... I would say this might be the one I know the most about. But I still know Sunshine pretty well. I've only 100% Sunshine, I think, once, though. So, how would this work if you have the controllers hooked into the Switch? How exactly would that work? Because then you don't have a pointer. God, would that mean that you have just the right control stick would have to... would have to be used for your camera or your pointer or whatever? That would be so weird. Alright, Star Bunny chasing. You better get used to it because it happens quite a few times and it doesn't get any more fun. It's probably about the lowest quality part of this game as these Star Bunny chases. Yeah, no, energy drinks are really not good for you. That's why I've managed to avoid them. God, yeah, I don't know what the controls would be like if you're playing this with the controllers actually hooked into the Switch or even with the Pro Controller. In the grass? Thank you for telling me. This is a very nice little planet, by the way. Like, I could live out here. Two houses, you have a warp pipe, you have lots of flowers and rock gardens. I think there's water somewhere on the planet. There's giant craters you can jump through for entertainment. I think you mean this grass. There's grass for you to eat. You could grow crops. You have sunlight. Yeah, it'd be nice. Cat Quest, haven't played that one. Mario Odyssey did confirm it as being on Earth? 
Well, then this was a pretty small Earth. Obviously not this planet, but when we got lifted off of Earth with the Mushroom Kingdom. Nah, energy drinks and coffee are different things. Black coffee is literally only two ingredients. Water and coffee beans. Energy drinks have so much crap in them. Just so many, like, different chemicals and stuff. They're awful for you. <laughs> yeah, coffee... Black coffee is literally just coffee and, and uh, coffee beans. Or coffee beans and water. To save your special one, you'll need the power to travel through space. <laughs> Rosalina looking quite nice in 3D. How many pla- Oh, you tap it. Oh, wow. Yeah, that would be really weird. Okay, I'm glad I'm playing this the way I am. Uh, my Platinums, I'm at 475. Yeah, Rosalina looking good in enhanced graphics. Mario, I say stick with her over Peach. Peach doesn't like you anyway. She never appreciates you. Yeah, coffee from Starbucks is really strong. That is true, like, their coffee's actually pretty strong. Go explore the universe. Lots of galaxies for you to discover. No, I didn't. I didn't want to talk to you again. It feels a lot like I'm playing it on the Wii, though, which is nice. Yeah, I mean, black coffee is an acquired taste, but it's far better for you than putting other stuff in it. Oh man, I love the mu The music in this game is awesome. Plus this game, this whole thing came with like the soundtracks for all three games, which is awesome. Because Mario games have really good soundtracks a lot of the time. And this game might have one of the best. Just it has some absolutely epic music. We get to Gusty Garden eventually. And that, everyone says that's like the best song ever and it's up there. It's pretty high up there. Oh, I can spin with either controller. Well, that's kind of nice. And then, like, the Red Star music. Stun the Goombas. Now, I believe one of you is going to be carrying a key. Apparently not you. There you are. Get over here. Drop your key. Also, I'd love to know how you... Oh. Well, how'd you fit that coin in your body? I was gonna say how'd you fit the key in your body, but how did you manage to swallow that giant coin? It's like the same size as you are. Get me out of here! One of those enemies should have the key! That's an odd voice for them. That was my ice machine. Huh, that Goomba wasn't there initially. But yeah, I love coffee, so... I don't usually get it from Starbucks, though. Starbucks is overpriced and really not that good. But at least theirs is pretty strong. That's the one advantage of Starbucks, is that theirs is stronger, I think, than a lot of places. The Giant Goomba! Goomba, ya yeah, ya, yeah. Goomba, ya yeah, ya. Yeah. Oh, okay, so now I've got my pointer on the screen again. I don't know why it wasn't there at first. I had to hit R to bring it up. You're not the one I need to talk to, you are. Hurry, down here! Ah, uh, for 500, it's probably gonna be Far Cry 2. Which, if I want to do that, I probably need to go ahead and start looking at working on that game. Because that's not, like, the single player isn't short. It's not, it takes longer than the other games. Because that game's single player is like 40 hours to get all the trophies. And it's not as easy as the other ones. Okay, got all those, then there's these down here. 
that's the goal, but we'll have to see. You never know, it might be something something else might come up. Yes, I know what to do. I, I've played this game before. Yep, I finished the multiplayer trophies ages ago. Well, not really ages, like, within the last year I finished them. Me and Snickle boosted a lot of it. Well, it's, it's a little hard to say and think about the trophy level thing when your account hasn't even been updated to the new system yet. Mine's still showing level, like, 78. Although I haven't checked since, like, 3 in the afternoon. I can check and see on the app, though, and see if it's updated there. If my phone actually wants to load at all. Oh! It's updated on the app! Uh, I went from level 78 ish, I think I was 78, up to level 707. Level 707. Awesome. Cool. That was a big jump. I don't know, like, I like that they're willing to make some changes, and I give them credit for wanting to try to change the system a bit, which is good, but I don't think they did it exactly the way they should have. If they're gonna start waiting platinum trophies... I understand platinum trophies being weighted more because you have to do everything else in the game to get the platinum. You have to get all the other trophies first. But the thing is, they're not weighting platinum trophies separately based on rarity or difficulty. Meaning that the platinum in Crypt of the Necrodancer is equal to My Name is Mayo in the eyes of the system. It means that the bronze trophy for beating Wolfenstein 2 on Mayan Lieben is less valuable than nearly every trophy in, like, every Rattalaka game, because they're mostly silvers and golds. So, until they implement some kind of system that also takes rarity into account, it won't be perfect. I'm almost worried this might encourage more people to go do the cheap, quick, and easy Platinums. And can we just say how awesome this hub world is? Like, I mean, yeah, the castle in 64 is pretty cool, but I absolutely have always loved this hub world. It's so cool, and it has quite a few little secrets in it. It may not have a star or anything, but in it, like a secret star, like some of the other games do, but it has so much stuff in it. And I'm willing to bet they added in some new stuff for this version. Nothing down there. Like, that seemed like somewhere that they could have added a secret in. We'll take more looks at it later. For now, we don't really have enough here yet. I don't remember the green star already having its outline there previously. I thought you just had to find one at least till it started. But yeah, I absolutely love this hub world. It's awesome. It looks amazing. I heard that the trophy tracker thing was on, like, a single French blog and it got removed afterward. I hope it's true. I mean, it's literally the most requested feature for trophy hunting that we've ever had, by far. Like, everyone wants it to be there. It would help us a lot with things like knowing if a trophy's glitched or something. So I hope we get it. We should get it. I mean... Again, it's been requested for a long time, and didn't even the Xbox 360 have achievement tracking? I know that the Xbox One does, and I feel like the 360 did as well. The Good Egg Galaxy, our first galaxy. Power Star Energy Patterns. And the definition of galaxy technically does fit, because it's a large collection of planets and stars. That's how all of them are. But yeah, I hope we get a trophy tracker. We should get one after all this time. 
I may end up having to move my Switch around the next time I play this game, though. Okay, yeah, it did for Xbox One. For some reason, I was thinking it did for the 360 as well. Yeah, let's go. All right, so these little guys are not much of a threat, provided I could actually manage to jump on him. I mean, we won't star bits. We don't really need... Coins are useless in this game, by the way, for the most part. At least they were in the original. Maybe they have a different use here. I don't know. But star bits actually have many uses. They are used to pay off lots of hungry Lumas. Also, I remember watching, like, it was over a year ago where I first saw it. One of the, a small YouTube channel attempted to beat the game without collecting any star bits. That was a pretty interesting challenge. Some of the links you had to go to to get through some of those levels. And I think this is only going to give us a 1-up. One 1-ups one in this game are basically useless. Unfortunately. 1-ups in a lot of the Mario games, especially the modern ones, are kind of useless because it just puts you back in the hub world anyway. So there's not really much of a point of them. If it's just going to put you back in the hub world anyway, then what, why even bother with the system? If it's really not going to do much. It, it's really only for, like, maybe a few specific... Maybe for, like, the trial galaxy, so you don't have to get out of them midway through if you fail. I guess that's really the only reasoning I could see for it. Same thing sort of for Sunshine. It would allow you to have a lot of extra tries for some of the tougher levels. My friends are up ahead! I was going to try to do it without your help. Yeah, the coins give you extra lives in this game, but it's really hard to even get to 50 coins in this game the way you can in Galaxy 2. Galaxy 2 is a lot better for coins. It actually gives them a lot more purpose. This game really doesn't, from what I remember, unless they made some changes. I was trying to spin into it. Jeez, Mario. I'm gonna get crushled. I don't know what I was going at with that. I think there's a college football game on tonight. Maybe I'll catch a little bit of that later. And even the music here is great. And it only gets better as the game goes in a lot of levels. Uh, Mario, I was not telling you to walk in a circle. Cameras still can be a little weird in this game just because of the way it functions, but that's to be expected. Oh, crap. I am out of practice, that's for sure. There we go. Oh, we're going to have a Daredevil run on Dino Piranha already? No, there's more planets. Hey, Samantha. Some games are 100, some are 50. I can't remember... <laughs> That's about right. I forgot there was a Piranha plant there. Oh, you didn't give me a... I thought that... Huh, I always remembered the the big stars. I always thought those stars were checkpoints. Maybe that was only in the second game. I mean, it's fine, it's not a big deal, but I always I thought that. I guess it's not true. Oh well. Launch stars, I, I blanked out of the name. So yes, we definitely want to get as many star bits as we can. In terms of trying to do a no star bit challenge, it would actually be easier on this version because you can disable your pointer whenever at times, so. It seems that you can. I can't figure out how exactly it works, but you can. And that would actually make trying to beat the game without collecting star bits quite a bit easier. Because then you wouldn't have to worry about accidentally picking them up through planets, because that will happen sometimes. Get past that before... Okay, it almost spit one out on me. Oh. Oh, I hit the little 
blue thingy. What have y'all been up to today? Anything? I did some Destiny 2. Continued working on my vouch safe that I still don't have. It's starting to get really annoying. I found a group that was supposed to be playing Advanced Warfare today to begin to work on Carrier. It's Easter Egg in level 30, but they have not messaged yet, so we're going to stream instead. Okay, those things are annoying. Yeah, Crash 4 looks pretty tough. I mean, from what I've read, most people seem to say that, like, the main hard one from the first, from the Insane Trilogy, was the first one. And that the second and third ones are more medium difficulty. And then the racing is pretty tough. Still working on Days Gone. Yeah, I mean, that's a time-consuming one. Alright, Dino Piranha. All right, hit him. We gotta hit him three times here. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to move my switch around just to make it pick up the motions a little bit better. Because I've currently got it pointing off to the right to have it look like this. So I'm gonna have to move the switch probably. Jeez, game. Yeah, forget about the star bits this time. There we go. Come on, we can't be struggling on the first boss of the game. That's Dino Piranha. He's, one of, he's not the easiest boss in the game, but he's up there. Yep, very excited for football. We've got a big game this weekend, actually. Uh... Clemson Miami game, a top seven matchup with College Game Day. I'm excited. I'll be at that game. That should be a lot of fun. Lots of star bits. Yeah, I know everything just got postponed. Then there was a time where it didn't look like we were going to have a season. Thankfully, we do have one. Of course, the Big Ten's only playing uh, eight games, yet they'll probably still be in contention for the Heisman in the playoffs. Which is really stupid, because, I mean, if you play three fewer games, at best three fewer games, then you should not have a right to be in the playoffs or be in the Heisman running. Because they'll find any way to not let Trevor Lawrence win the Heisman. Because they, they despise Clemson. They'll never let us win anything like that. Uh, game? No E3, no Comic-Con, yeah, and then the theaters are having problems. They're kind of reopened down here, to some degree. But not fully. Not with, like, full capacity, obviously, and a lot of them still aren't open. Grab the Star Bits. Whenever you see a little thing of eight in a circle, give it a spin. Alright, so for this level, we're going to need star bits. We're going to need quite a few of them. We're going to need, I believe it's a hundred on this level for the secret. Or no, it's not even a secret on this level, it's actually part of the game. Yeah, I am very ready for that game on Saturday, that is going to be fun. Gives us something to do again, you know? Life is boring without sports and movies and stuff. I mean, thankfully we have games. Like, just think what 2020 would have been like if we didn't have gaming. 
the one thing you can do socially distance at home to enjoy life. Just think how it would have been. I know, I know a lot of people that have had, like, their weddings either postponed and whatnot because of all this. Other events. Just everything. It's all ridiculous. And the, the crazy thing is, like... As a legitimate question to you guys, do you or anyone that you know that has actually gotten the virus? Because I don't know a single person that can prove they had the virus. Like, there are some of us who think we have, myself included, but never have any proof of it. And I honestly don't think I know anyone that can prove that they've had it or have it right now. I'd just like to know if, if anyone does know anyone that does. Because I have a number of old people in my family and none of them have gotten it. Like... Uh, one's late 70s, one's early 80s, one's 90 as of this year. None of them have had it. All my great-grandparents have passed away already, so... Alright, so where is this Hungry Luma? Is... Oh, no, no, do not run right into that. I think 2021 will be better. And I don't think they... Mostly because I don't think things can get that much worse. I say that, but I'm sure that there are ways it can. Alright, we need to talk to this hungry Luma. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform. I'll need 100 star bits to curb the hunger. Gotta make sure I aim properly. Yeah, I mean, I wear my masks pretty much everywhere. I've tried to be exercising and stuff throughout all of it. And then, like, my dad has a job where he's around a lot of people. He had, he has an essential job. He was around a lot of people. He hasn't had it. At least no guarantee that he's had it. Now, I still remember, though, I told you, I've told you guys before, I still think that I might have had it all the way back last November. Because I had most of the symptoms. Because it was here before they told us it was. It's been here since October. In light capacity. Now, the thing is, though, I've had an antibody test when I went and gave blood a few weeks ago. So I've had an antibody test, and it came back negative, which would indicate that I haven't had it. But then there's some of the people saying that the antibodies only last a certain amount of time. It's just, like, impossible to tell exactly which one is fact and which one's not anymore. Oh, a free one-up. Well, not really free, but... Oh, there we go. Sure, cutting our way up. I do hope we end up getting Galaxy 2 as well. I don't think you actually need the... Nope, you don't. I don't know about luck-based, but I know that Cuphead, you can exploit it. You can find someone who's already got it done. Go into their game and do each action once and beat it. Which is a little ridiculous. See, it turned a pretty difficult, but fun 
platinum game into something that's not overly challenging. Alright, we have a new galaxy. Honey Hive. Wonder what kind of challenge runs people have come up with, with for this game, aside from the whole uh, beat the game without collecting any star bits attempt. I'm sure there are other ideas that people have come up with. I mean, I'm sure you could do like a no damage run, maybe a no power up run. I don't know, because I feel like you could skip a. Not every star in this game requires you to pick up a power up or anything, so. That could be an interesting one. I don't know. I mean, I'm probably not going to do a challenge for this. If I did one, I'd do it for the original Wii version because I'm more used to that one with the way it plays and the controls and such are a little bit easier for me to use. But I'm still making it work here, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, Cuphead definitely requires a lot of luck. At one point, me and Lizard Guy, he had it on his computer, I think, at one point, and we played it. And it was fun. It was tough, for sure, but it was fun. It's a very nice-looking game. I'm just going to get rid of them the safe way. It's a very nice-looking, fun game, that unique art style and all. Very cartoonish, 30s art style. Yeah, I would say you probably don't want to platinum it unless you're willing to really suffer, like, a lot. Because you prob- well, not- not suffer. Suffer's the wrong word. Just practice a lot. Hi, CJ. Yeah, it's one of those games that's just gonna require a lot of practice to get through. And skill, you know? If you're not skilled at that kind of game, well, then you're probably not going to get it that way either. Unless you join into someone else that already has everything done. Okay, I believe that there's a little secret over here. There is. I still remember some of the secrets in this game. I don't remember all of them, but I know, uh... Oh, okay, nope, nope, that was a little... Nope! Be Mario. Quit doing that. That was a little too close. Yeah, Fall Guys, that, that's a tough one. A lot of skill, significant amount of skill, definitely some luck as to which games you get. You just get all those team-based games that are apparently horrible. We'll see if they ever patch in like a way to do it in private mode or something, if they did that. I wouldn't be surprised if they ever ended up doing that. Then probably go up to like a 20% platinum because everyone could just do it in private games. Just boost it. Well, at least the one really difficult trophy. The other stuff might be uh, a little more effort. Or it can at least still be done normally. Ah, this, this little section. Yeah, uh, those of you who have not played this game before, you're in for something here. Yes, that's the ticket. Oh, crawl all over me! That feels so good! Oh, it tickles! It feels so good! Yeah, that's just, uh, that, that section, that's a bit of an odd one. There's sections like that in a number of other games in the Mario franchise. This is far from the only one. Haven't been trophy hunting since September. Try to reach 100 by the end of 2021. Eh, to be honest, reaching 100 isn't really that difficult anymore. If you just want to stack Rattalaika games, especially. I know, once I hit 500, I don't think I'm going to hit 500 before the end of the year. It'll probably be early 2021 when I reach 500. But we'll see. You never know. I might just go on a freaking tear over the next two months and just really do it quickly and get there. And then I will probably... 
I would be willing to bet you guys that I'll end up taking a break for like a month after I get 500. Just take like a, a complete month off from trophy hunting and play other stuff. Just get a little break. So that I don't, that way I can avoid getting burned out. All right, are you gonna wanna talk to us, Toad? It's the Chode Captain! Mario, somehow we made it too! We'll help you get the Power Stars and save Princess Peach! I'm trying to do, I think it's Josh Jepsen's Toad voice. I can't do it. Can't do it at all. Very scratchy noise. We'll encounter the Toads later on throughout the game. I don't really know why they're called Toads though, because they don't look like frogs. Yeah, that's going to be fun having a whole bunch of games right before the PS5 comes out. And there's some good games in that, too. I mean, they're free, basically, as long as you're paying into the whole system, so that's good. Then we got the Black Ops Cold War beta. Now that it's a beta, I'll probably give it a second try. I probably won't stream it, but I will probably give it a second try this weekend. See if it's gotten any better. Oh, King Caliente. King Caliente. He's one of the easier bosses in the game as well. Even more so, arguably, than Dino Prana. Well, normally, I don't know how it's going to be in the newer control scheme. Ah, oh, that... Oh, that was... What the? Did my stream just cut out for a few seconds? You know, it does that more often than it probably should. As it said, it just cut out for, like, half a second. And it just does that randomly sometimes. Probably the capture card, though, if I had to take a guess. Yep, I saw that I'm up to level 707. Although I couldn't get it to sync up on my actual console yet. I haven't tried it in a while, but... I couldn't get it to come up on the actual console. I was only able to get it up on the app. Which is fine. It's not a big deal. Now, apparently, if you max out your star bits to 9999, it turns the coconuts into watermelons for some reason. I don't know why that is, because that's really weird. But, hey, you know, it's an extra little secret for those who were curious. Okay, I, I think that... Actually, I think we have to use it on the giant spiky plant. Yeah, I mean, I've done God of War, done Uncharted 4. Though maybe that'll be an, a reasoning for me to go back and finish Uncharted 4's survival mode, which is easier said than done. It's 10 out of those 12 trophies are easy. The last two are not. There we go. First try. Resident Evil 7, solid game. Still on my list to clean up. Don't know when it'll happen because it's single player only. So it's a little bit lower priority right now. And there's only like five trophies left. I mean, I finished End of Zoe and Not a Hero. Those ones are fairly easy. Compared to the other two DLCs. Not looking forward to Ethan Must Die or 21 Survival Plus. Those are really annoying. But yeah, Days Gone on there, that's good. Like, I'll just need to look into guides. Oh! Oh, that was a little too close for the challenges. The challenge DLC, because everything else I'm not really worried about, and I definitely want to play the game. I feel like jumping into that would probably be dangerous, but I also am intrigued. Oh, I can't. Okay, never mind then. Is this where we encounter a life shroom for the first time, or is that later? Oh, no, this is not King Caliente's planet. This is a different one. The bomb! Oh, 
It actually hit me. Good shot, the bomb. And then tomorrow, guys, we're most likely going to be doing a little drinking game with Super Mario Sunshine. I mean, outside of the blue coins, I know Sunshine extremely well. And I still remember a majority of the blue coins, I just don't necessarily remember what chapter you can get, or what episode of each level you can get some of them in. Because that was a weird thing about that game, is that... For the blue coins, which are a side collectible that gets you more of the shine sprites, some of them are only available in certain levels. Oh, that's not it. Uh, do I have a camera first person button? Aha, it's this one. Because I know that there are some secrets out here. I just don't really remember exactly where. Ooh, boom. I thought I killed the first one. Did I miss? Maybe? I don't know. Yes, yeah, Steve from Minecraft on Smash. That's a really weird choice. And also, I thought that Minecraft was a Microsoft property. I mean, obviously, they're on all consoles just as a game, but a little bit surprising of a choice. So the life shrooms are quite helpful. They make it so that you have more health. Quite simple. Very helpful, though. I think we're off to the boss fight. Yes, we are. He will tell you that shooting those little yellow dots gives you coins. Which is a nice little tip. In emergencies, at least. And now we're going to play a game of tennis. Which I was pretty decent at, at one point in time. Because I actually used to play for those who... Okay, that was weird. He, like, slid down instead of hitting it back. That was odd. There we go. Yeah, for those who maybe are newer to the channel, I used to play tennis. I played for a long time when I was younger, and then I played on the team in middle school, and I played on the high school team through sophomore year. Ah, those little lava guys are being a little bit annoying there. So I played through the first two years of high school, and then I just managed the teams, the guys and the girls teams. Which managing was a lot of fun. It meant you didn't actually have to do any of the physical conditioning and crap, but got to be on the team. And that's a star, get. <coughs> All right, five out of 120. New Galaxy, the Terrace. Oh, in the Terrace, I mean. All right, let's see. This is loop-de-loop. -loop. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare under this control setup, isn't it? I have no idea how this is going to work. Yeah, when I stream this game in the future, I'll move the switch around, probably be able to get the controls to work a little bit better. This is going to be miserable, probably. Yep, the original Galaxy is a great game. It's always been fun over the years. I am a surfer. If you say no, he just like boots you to the edge of this platform and you have to go back up and talk to him for some reason. I don't really know what the purpose of it was. Okay, so it's the right one only. I love how it shows you wearing the wrist strap. Does anyone actually wear the wrist strap on the Switch? I feel like they probably don't. Alright, that's fine. 
hold down B to speed up, which probably also means A. But I'll do B, because that's what they said. This is probably one of the few levels where you could get close to 50 coins, because you get a lot here. Achievement unlocked. Collect all 30 coins at the start of the level. Alright, let's go. Let's see how many tries this takes. Probably at least two. This one's not as bad as Loop de Loop Galaxy, but it's still it's not the easiest thing in the world. That's because the physics are a bit wonky. I'm up to 15 lives. It's too bad you lose those lives as soon as you uh, as soon as you leave the game, quit the game. Because that's how a lot of Mario games are. Now all we need is a bunch of... We still need a bunch of Pikmin remakes of 1 and 2. I know we're getting Pikmin 3 remake. We also need a new Pikmin game. Uh, we also really need... Uh, Paper Mario 1 and 2. We need a remake. I wouldn't mind even also adding in the third Paper Mario, the one on the Wii. That one's not bad. Not as good as the first two, but it's still not bad, so... Not compared to the two newer ones. And then Origami King I haven't played enough of. Alright, that was pr actually a lot easier than I expected. It controls pretty well on here, actually. A lot better than I expected it to. Alright, that was pretty easy. Alright, that's 1 20th completion on our first completed galaxy. Let's give it a save. Okay, so we can't do anything else in Good Egg yet. So I guess we're going to Honey Hive. Rubble on the tower. Okay, which one is this? This isn't... Yeah, this isn't Bugaboom. He's next. Okay, I remember this one. Sort of. Or... Yeah, because it's like a little mini-boss guy. I remember this one. Alright, let's roll. Giant random stones have been placed everywhere. Ground pound them for easy star bits. That one was moving pretty fast. Okay, one of them's gonna spawn a... Maybe that's later then. Okay, never mind. Ah, it's over there. Definitely want some star bits, though. Star bits are always good. They're apparently based off of... Compito, I believe is how it's called. Japanese candy. Never had it before. I've had Japanese sodas before. Have you guys ever had a Jap those Japanese sodas? The ones that have, like, the marble in the top of them that you have to push down? That's pretty cool. And they're actually pretty good. I haven't had... I've only had them a couple of times, but they're pretty good from what I remember. Oh, wait, this isn't it. Because that's... Yeah, that's a coin. Okay, hold on a second. That's not what we were supposed to do. I thought that... We got a... Not a bee suit yet, but a... Uh, that a thing would pop up for us to rock. Or is this where... Oh, yep, we're supposed to go this way, aren't we? A little out of practice with this game, surprisingly. For how much I've played in the past. Okay, that wasn't it. Let's try going behind it, because I know that there's something back here. It's a little tough to do, like, a side jump. But that's not really that big a deal. Oh, I thought there was a secret pipe back here. Maybe that's only in the other one. Golden Leaf. We do have a pipe up here, though, which is presumably our target. Just avoid the giant rolling balls of death. 
I did not do a very good job of that, but I know that we're going to get a... I think it's a rainbow star down here, presumably. Okay, at the very least, we're going to get lots of star bits that we need. Alright, let's see if we can hit all of them. Come on. Get back up. Got him! Okay, that's great for star bits, but that's not really good for telling me where I was supposed to go here. Because I know I gotta get over there. Oh yeah, and there's a little secret back there. There's a one-up behind there, and you can hit that for... Uh, additional star bits. Oh! Wow, I'm dumb. That's the vine. I knew it was a vine, but... Didn't know where. Alright, we can ground pound this. Alright, so... I think we're gonna... Yep, we're gonna ground pound this one. And we can ground pound this button. That's going to also stun the Wiggler. We don't want him to wake up, though. He's not very happy that we woke him from his walking, maneuvering, whatever you want to call it. Good thing that platform only slid down that far. If it didn't, if it slid down further, we'd all be dead. That's going to be like Melty Molten when you have the giant sinking lava spire, which... Not looking forward to that Daredevil run, I'll say that. That, uh, that Daredevil run ain't going to be easy. That's one of the harder ones in the game. And we're on to this very uh, oddly shaped, plat phallic shaped platforms. We're not going to address that though. We're instead just going to continue moving on. What's this do? Ooh, a rainbow star. At least that brings back some classic Mario music. And that's good. I think this is going to drop us down for lots of extra star bits. How is YouTube not receiving enough data? Seriously? We're going to go through this crap again? Okay, I know that you can make that. And there we go. Speedrunning strategies for the win. I probably had to hit a button first, didn't I? I did. So, all for nothing, of course. I don't feel like there's anything going on with the streams, though. So I don't know why he keeps saying it's not receiving enough video. It looks fine on my end, which is un not usually what it does. All right, we have a mini boss here. Okay, that was weird and kind of cool. So you can actually sit on his head. I'm not sure I've done that before. Okay, there we go. He kind of ground pound locks onto people, which is kind of nice. Like that. Easy boss. Very easy boss. The bee queen's down there. I wonder if you can actually get to her on this level and talk to her. That would be probably a little something for people to check out someday. Already over 500 star bits. Oh, a hungry Luma has appeared. We shall talk to him later. Well, soon, but not... Not instantly. Because first, let's go do a quick galaxy flip switch. This one's pretty easy. Nothing to worry about here. We're just going to be standing on each switch once. Flipping them all to a different color. 
painting the planet yellow. These early galaxies are all pretty easy. But they get quite a bit harder as things go on. Hope more of y'all will be here tuning in when we go to like the trial galaxies and the really difficult stuff. Because I have a feeling there's going to be some challenges in there. They ain't easy. And they're no Grandmaster Galaxy. But they're up there. I think you can step on this guy to make him stop doing that. And got it. Nothing too difficult there as long as they don't fall off as we go to the exit. That's what I was worried about. Just don't accidentally touch the spikes again. Stargate! So is that eight? That is. Awesome. You have discovered a new galaxy. I think I know what that one is. We have discovered an enemy base in the region. Our first major boss. Let's save. And there's still one more in Honey Hive. That's Bugaboom, I believe. Have we seriously got no one watching this? There's no one watching. I'm not going to keep streaming tonight. Alright, time to fight Bowser. Well, actually, we're not going to fight Bowser himself. We're going to fight on Mega Legs Moon against someone else. Mega Leg and technically Bowser Jr. Alright, so where is it? Bullet Bill, that's it. We need Bullet Bill. I gotta be a little bit careful on these weird shaped platforms. I don't know what those metal cap things are actually supposed to be. They're kind of weird looking. Alright, so, first major boss fight. This one is more of a puzzle than an actual boss fight. And platforming than an actual boss fight. Because we're not really fighting an individual one of the Koopas or something like that. Instead, all we gotta do is smash the glass on Mega Leg's head. So first we're going to get on his leg here. And jump right across. And first hit's easy. First hit's not a problem. And it's the second hit that's a little bit tougher. A lot more bullet bills and a lot more fencing. And that's going to hit each other, aren't they? That almost worked, too. That wasn't what I was trying to do, but that would have been awesome if that had worked. Because that fence will come back. That's the problem with this phase, is the fences come back, as we can see there. Alright, come on, Bullet Bills. I'm right on through. That was a very sloppy way of doing that fight, but it worked.
And you've got a grand star. So that is going to open up a whole new dome for us to go to. Ah, uh, the Fountain Dome. That's an interesting one because apparently it's referred to as the bathroom in some regions, which is odd. That ball of flame represents the power of the observatory. We call it the beacon. When you recover a grand star, a little star power will be restored. The common observatory can use that power to fly through the universe. Once all of the power is restored, we will be able to fly to the center of the universe. Oh, the power is on in a new dome. Yep, I already saw that. It's called the fountain. It's quite relaxing. Look at the map. I don't need to look at the map. Yet. I might need to later when we're looking at comments, but that's not really a thing yet. So, we can now talk to a hungry Luma. I think we'll go ahead and feed him. If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I will burst with snacky happiness and transform. 400? That's a bit... A bit much, don't you think, sir? That's like two-thirds of all my star bits. But it's okay. This leads to a pretty awesome galaxy. The sweet, sweet galaxy. Pretty fun galaxy, if you ask me. Rocky Road. This is the only star in this galaxy. It's just a platformer, like many other levels. Quite a few star bits available, and lots of cake and cookies visible. And I think this music is from Mario Bros. 3? Maybe? But it sounds great. It's very fitting for a short, fun little galaxy like this. Now, I think that with a lot of these, you can kind of just jump along the edges and not have to worry too much. Speedrunners would probably already be done with this level. Okay, that's the first part. Now we get the weird moving section. Okay, that was almost really bad. Come on, this is not a very difficult galaxy, usually. Don't want to fail too much here. And we went through it. Alright, grab all those. Now we get to the hard part. I can't believe I didn't touch that. I thought for sure I was going to. Hey, we did it. First try. Alright, that wasn't bad at all. I usually die on that like once. And I think that, is this one of those eight star bit things? It is, because there's one or two things that aren't. Oh, and there was the Toad Captain back there doing something. Who knows, it's the Toad Captain. And we're into the double digits with another galaxy completed. So we've completed three of the six galaxies so far. The Terrace, uh, we got another star we can do in Honey Hive before we head to the next area, the next dome. All right, I think this is Bugaboom. This is another boss fight. He's not that hard of one, but I think it, that's what it is. Now all these weird bug things are everywhere. They look a little bit like water bugs. Or beetles or something. Little cockroachy 
I don't know, most bugs look the same to me. And we don't like any of them. You don't want bugs in your house. Never fun. Okay, so we can grab a life shroom from here. I don't think that's the exact path, but we definitely want it. It'll make life a bit easier. Now we need to go talk to the queen bee. The neighbors are causing trouble again. We will be most grateful for your assistance. Is it Karen? Is Karen doing something stupid again? Probably, because it's Karen. I've still never had a proper Karen experience, I don't think. At least not to the degree of some of the people out there. And like, I kind of want it to happen someday just to be able to say something about it. I mean, I don't go on Reddit, but it would be interesting to at least have the experience once. Bugaboom! The giant grasshopper thing. I missed. Got him. First hit. Gotta hit him three times. Now he's gonna fly around. And he can drop bombs. I don't think grasshoppers usually do that, but it is a game. Jeez, I have no death perception today. There we go, that's our second hit down. And one more hit. Let's see if we can get it first try. Got him! All right. That went pretty well. Grab star. Star get. Okay, so that's everything we can do in the terrace for now. All the rest of the stuff is either secret stars or comets. So for now, let's head over to the fountain. Ah, uh, the... The common observatory looks a little bit better. It's still not that well lit up yet. So, like I said, apparently in some regions, this is known as the bathroom. Which comes into question where the water's coming from. I'll leave that there for you guys to ponder. I think it's in other regions, though. It's not in the U.S., but in other regions it's referred to as the bathroom. Ooh, we got a real quick galaxy. Here's this hurry scurry. Oh no, it's rolling green. Oh, this one's probably not going to be that fun with these controls. A little bit worried about how this one's going to go. Rolling green galaxy. Rolling in the clouds. This is one of the ball rolling levels. There's only like three or four in this game that have it. So this is one of the easier ones, but not one of the better mechanics. This was always probably the hardest of the trial galaxies. It was always the one where you have to roll on the ball. Grab as many star bits as we can at first. I don't want to talk to Billboard or Philboard. It's going to make me. Billboard. Puns. I guess I probably should, though. Okay, so that's the starting position is straight up. And then we can just tilt it in whatever direction we need and B to jump. Smash it. Smash. Don't tell. You know what? I'm not going to finish that sentence. Alright, this one shouldn't be too bad. I wonder if anyone's ever done, like, a no-coin Mario Galaxy challenge, because that seems like it would be doable in this game. More so than, say, Star Bits or anything else. Because there are not that many coins in this game compared to... Oh! That was close. Compared to Galaxy 2, and they're not really in your way, and they're not really needed for anything. 
Oh, crap. You can't jump quickly. Oops. That's only about the second time I've died. I think I died once in Good Egg Galaxy, which is still pathetic. And kind of funny. Because I didn't even die in Loop-de-Loop -loop or Loop-de-Swoop. Yeah, no coin challenge might be interesting. I mean, obviously this level probably wouldn't be good for it, but it only contains one star. Gotta concentrate here. Okay, that part's done. Alright, hold back for a second. Yeah, this is not going to be an easy trial galaxy when we get to that point later. But that wasn't too bad. Star. All right, that's 12, one-tenth of the way. And now we will go off to, oh, a uh, new galaxy unlocked. I wanna say we've got space junk and battle rock here. Yep, because that is the uh, Hurry Scurry Galaxy, or whatever it's called. Oh, so Space Junk was first. For some reason, I was thinking Space Junk was the second one. Alright, Space Junk's pretty neat. It's got some cool ideas to it. Lots of star bits available. Pull Star Path. And the music here is nice and peaceful. They did well with that. Real peaceful, sort of softer. Sounds good, though. I mean, this game has rock and music. And I'm glad that the game actually comes with this whole soundtrack, which is really cool. Like I said, there's some fantastic music in these games. Especially this one. This one had Gusty Garden, it had the Red Star theme, and quite a few others. All right, let's grab these last two star chips. Nothing too difficult on that one. And we got star bits from that. And I uh, bet some of you don't know this. This is Olimar's ship, the SS Dolphin from Pikmin. It is actually his ship from Pikmin. Very cool little Easter egg. And of course, like, I still want to see Pikmin 1 and 2 get remakes or remasters the same way as Pikmin 3 is getting. As well as a new Pikmin game. It's been too long. It's been, like, seven years, I think, since we had a Pikmin game. We want a new one. Such a forgotten but beloved franchise. Definitely want to see more happen in that franchise someday. Okay, so... You can go under this, I think. Yes, you can, and... What are these guys gonna do? I mean, like, more like what's in the container. Oh, it's just star bits? Okay, I was just... Well, you know, we need the star bits. We're gonna need them later. The good thing is, it's there's a very easy way to farm star bits in this game when we get to a later level. The, uh, the pull star galaxy. I think it's actually the one from this dome. The one that you have to pay the Hungry Luma for. And it's a really good place to grind for star bits as long as you have some extra lives to spare. Toad Captain. I'm curious, what do you have to say? Because you're standing upside down. Da-da-da-da-da! Mr. Mario is the brave captain of the Toad Brigade. I've already discovered a shortcut to a power star. Take the sling stop. Which, in all honesty, you can't do too much in that little spaceship, you know. 
It looks like a four person table in the center. So like four seats in the table. And then uh, four identical control panels under each window. Not really sure how much you can do with that, honestly. But you know, it's it's the future. Apparently warp speed travel is available in this game because Bowser did it and Rosalina's gonna do it. And they're doing it without any sort of like actual fuels. They're using stars. Well, at least Rosalina's using stars, which is pretty awesome. They can harness the power of actual literal stars to do it. I'm sure we'll be there someday, but probably not within my lifetime to that level. I, I kind of doubt we'll have warp speed available by the end of my lifetime, but you never know. Science is advancing at faster and faster paces, so you never know. It'd be cool to see, I just don't really think it's practical. But hopefully, you never know. I hope that YouTube's not being stupid and not showing comments again, because it's very much possible that it is. To me, at least. All right, that was pretty easy. It sounds like it's singing, you got to power star. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Oh, something's happening every time that Rosalina pulls you out. You know what, I'm not gonna continue that statement either. 13 stars. Hey, Adam. Ooh. Hey, Robert. We- Hey, SPG. Lots of people jumping in a little late tonight. It's all good. Everyone's in different time zones. Everyone's got different priorities and things to do. It's all good. We now have... Prankster comments. Comments, not comments. Alright, this is a speedy comment. It's time to turn into Travis Etienne and go all speedy over the comet. Ah, uh, you're alone in here? Dang. Yeah, I mean, I know views were low. Like, I'm a little surprised because Mario 64 had really good consistent viewership when I streamed it. Kind of surprised this one isn't getting it because... I know I have a number of younger viewers on here. Like, well, not younger, but just like... Closer to my age that are Mario, Sunshine, and Galaxy, and Odyssey age versus, like, the original world and the original Mario Brothers games. And, I mean, I have some people in here that grew up on the old games, which is awesome. If you're good, you can do that. It saves you a few seconds if you were doing, like, a speed run or something. Yeah, everyone's in different time zones and all, so... I know that it's like 2 in the morning in, in the UK right now. And like... Noon, or... I don't know why I said noon. 9 a.m. in Australia right now, I think. Well, parts of it are close to that. Uh, where did I miss a starship at? Oh, down here. Got it. All right, we got three minutes left. We're about halfway through. All right, we're not gonna bother with any of the extra stuff this time. Jump on him. Now, speedily jump up that. Avoid the weird things. I think these actually change to chain chomps during the speedy comments. I think these are normally just the rocks. So that's just a way to make the game a little bit more challenging in comments in the comments. Trying to 100% this game. It's fun to 100% it. I'd say it's probably the most straightforward of the three on here to do 100% on. I'd say it's probably the... Yeah, it's definitely the most straightforward because 
Sunshine has the blue coins, and some blue coins only appear in certain levels for some reason. 64 is just a more challenging game to navigate and all. It's less, less linear. And like I said, I'm sure we'll still get Galaxy 2 someday on here. I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't. Or why they didn't do it with this. Then they could have sold the game for more money, probably. They could have sold it for 70 bucks. Instead of 60. Actually, theoretically, they probably could have sold it for 80. I don't want them to sell it for that much, because that's a lot. I mean, Galaxy still isn't necessarily easy to 100%. There's some tough galaxies and tough uh, stars in this one. Plus, the controls are a little jankier. She can't use a pro controller or anything like that for this version. Alright, so we beat that in a little over two minutes. That was pretty easy. But it was our first Comet, so it's not meant to be that difficult. You got a power star! Fourteen? We're gonna need more star bits, though. Not collecting that many, unfortunately. Okay, let's see if another comet has appeared. Okay, so Honey Hype's Comet is available. So let's see, Good Egg. I think I know what the two left on each of those galaxies are. Alright, so we're not going to bother with that, with uh, changing it or anything. We'll get another one eventually. It'll come back eventually. Actually, it might currently be hovering over this galaxy. Over uh, Space Junk. It shouldn't be over Battle Rock, because I don't know if we actually have Battle Rock discovered officially. Oh, it's actually not. Okay, then. Well, let me go ahead and discover it. Yeah, this game... It's not that easy to 100%. I mean, most Mario games are not easy to 100%. Not, like, joke easy like some games out there. They do require some skill and some effort. And then, of course, you got Odyssey out there that has, like, almost... I think it has 999 moons in it, which is just absurd. And all the costumes and stuff to buy. Huh, nothing on the other side. That's a little surprising. I don't care about you, Toad. We're not going to talk to you. We got a boss fight coming. I think I saw something red in here. That was a Goomba. Not what I thought it was. I thought it was a life shroom. What do we got in here? Some star bits. Uh, no. Hit the switch. Hey. Hit. Hit. Thank you. Is there anything on this side? I feel like some of the ships in certain levels, I know for a fact, have some kind of secrets on them. Okay, so they're just now teaching us... Actually, I don't even need the one up. I got like 20 of them. They're just now giving us another tutorial on spinning, which if you've somehow gone through this part of the game without it, congratulations. That's probably not a super common thing to say. Oh, I walked right into him. I'll take that coin. Come on. Let's, let's stop playing so badly. Okay, so that was a coin. Is this one going to be Starbits? It is. Toads! Rescue the Toads! Rescue the Toads! Yeah, I mean, that game is just... It's so much you have to do. Not even just, like, buying and getting milestones. Just so many things they make you do. takes a very long... I'm not even close to 100%ing. I think I ever... I think at best I got to, like, maybe 500 moons. 500-something. So, there is a secret over here. I remember this. I don't remember what it was, but I remember it being here. St 
Star Bits. Star Bits were meant to fly. Reach up and touch the sky. Nicki Minaj is so irrelevant that I don't know the song. Ooh, red shells. I think these lock on. Or they're fast. Uh, they're definitely faster. Does Nicki Minaj have any relevance anymore? I feel like I haven't heard her name in years. And I was never a fan of her music. I was never a fan of a lot of the rappers and such out there, but just curious because people fade away like that. I still remember when Justin Bieber was the biggest thing in the world. That's coins. We don't want to waste uh, hitting that in case we need more coins. I didn't get a life shroom, which is fine. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people probably just put it on and listen to the audio of it. That's what I do for videos sometimes, is just sort of sit in on streams or videos and just more listen to the audio than looking at the gameplay, because I think the audio is generally the more entertaining part of it in a lot of games. Not all of them, though. Not every game or stream is that way. Oh, that was a terrible throw. Ah, uh, no. Oh, this spells bad news for a future star. I think you guys probably know which... Some of you guys probably know which one I'm talking about. Seriously? That is unlucky. Hit me while I was trying to hit the other thing. Okay. This Kamek just needs... Okay, you know what? That This works too. Die. I was gonna hit the other Magikoopa, but whatever. Can't make Magic Koopa, whatever you want to call them. Doesn't matter. Hey, POI. I think I tend to get more people on here a little bit later in the day, like the 8 to 9 range. It's when more people tend to join in. Which is kind of surprising given how much of my viewer base is from the UK. Guess that's when the American viewer base, it's still the largest part of it, comes in or something. I don't know. Then again, this might not be the most interesting game. I'm not. It isn't my best commentary, I'll say that. Enemy base spotted already. Save the game. Yeah, I mean, when I'm in streams a lot of the time, I'm just in it listening more often than anything else, I feel like. Okay, I saw a comet pop up. Oh yeah, I don't know if I told you guys this, but uh, one thing I got this past weekend as a little birthday thing was an ancestry kit, a DNA kit, so they'll be able to tell me where I'm from. I'm actually really curious about that because I really want to know. I've always, I've always found like tracing back family history and stuff to be really, really interesting, and I really want to see what I have in me. Because I normally just say 75% white, 25% Japanese. But I want it to be broken down a little bit more. I want to see what it actually is. And see if it's something like crazy and weird, which would be really cool if it was. Okay. Cosmic Comets. Not the biggest fan in the world of these. These are at least not that hard on the Mario side. But these cause problems on the Luigi side. Alright. Uh, unless they made them easier or something. Yeah, it's a fun time, so I'm, I'm actually really excited. I, I definitely want to see what I actually am. I want to see if it's more than just Japanese, especially on my mom's side. I feel like it's probably got to be more than just Japanese. But you never know. 
All right, that, that one wasn't too bad. That's the first one, so it's not meant to be that hard. Okay, I don't think there's anything else we can do here yet. Actually, I'm almost positive there's nothing else we can do here yet. So, I'm going to head off to the other dome. We'll see if anything new is here. Maybe that, uh, the Hungry Luma isn't here yet, but maybe the other galaxy will be here. Favorite game out of the three. That's a tough choice. Oh, what is that? Speedy Comet. Let's go. Between the three, it's not 64 because I don't have, like, nostalgia for 64 or anything. That was a little before my time. Not really before my time, but before my time in gaming. I would say that it's probably got to be Galaxy overall because it's the one that I know the best and have probably spent the most time in. But I definitely love Sunshine as well, so really either of those. Yeah, I love, I love Galaxy and I love Sunshine, so really either of them would be fair. I'll just say Galaxy because I think that overall on pretty much most levels, Galaxy is a better game. Generally considered to be a better game. Alright, let's grab all the star chips. Come on, Mario, you gotta get the last one. Where is it? Up there? There we go. And go. Alright, so this is the one where we gotta collect the silver stars at the end, so you don't wanna screw up there because then you have to go back to the beginning. Alright, now go to that one. Perfect. Alright, I think we're making pretty good time. I know you can, like, slingshot around that, but... Not into those super amazing, sexy, secret, special moves. Either that or I'm just too lazy or don't know how to get them. Mario 64 is second for you. I mean, it, it all comes down to preference and what you grew up on and all. And I wasn't like... I played quite a bit of the DS 64, but I mean, I never 100%ed it. I beat it, but I never 100%ed it. Just because it's a DS game doesn't always function that well. Harder to play than some of these others out there. Alright, that's two silver stars. I wonder if it's actually possible to ever beat these platforms. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. I feel like it could be, though, if you were, like, super, super fast and maybe you had, like, a tool-assisted run of it. Okay, that was close. That Mario almost went the way I didn't want him to. Just be careful here. We got more than enough time. Easy enough. Yeah, I mean, they're all great games, so it's it's not easy to choose. It's all just not down to personal preference. I think I would say overall, though, that Sunshine is probably the least liked of the three overall for when you come down to, like, reviewers and stuff. People weren't super happy about Flood or the voice acted cutscenes some of the repetitive boss fights and red coin missions, but I still love the game and it still has a lot of nostalgia for me. Uh, that still didn't discover the next galaxy? That's surprising.
Okay, so we got one more in Space Junk that we can do. I assume that it has a purple coin mission. Or we can start on Battle Rock. Oh, and we can also reveal that. Already have that revealed. That's surprising. Uh, I gotta use the bathroom real quick, guys. I'll be back in a minute or two. You hate Flood, but uh, like Mario, yeah, you're certainly not the only one in that camp. Much better. I drink a lot of water because I tend to get dehydrated easier than a lot of people do, so I have to drink a lot of water. Always kind of have. Probably always will. But it's okay, though. Being hydrated makes you healthy. Okay, Terran Tox. Not my favorite boss in the world. I also love how we're going to like that giant germ planet that looks like a stereotypical germ in media. Uh, Space Junk does have a nice like relaxing music track to it. Good thing these little planets have gravity or else Mario would float off into nothingness. Okay, hopefully soon we'll be able to get the Sling Pod Galaxy open. Because that's the... I think it's the next Hungry Luma Gal... Oh! Oh, okay. I forgot about you. I was wondering what the sixth one was here. How much do I need for you? 50. I wasn't going to pay you this time, but... Okay, so he needs 50. Alright, we'll do that next. But first... We've got to get into here. All right, yeah, 50 is actually not terrible. If I have to waste my hard-earned star bits to feed you, then when you're too lazy to go out and actually do something. Yep, I, I have to use the bathroom at least once every stream, pretty much. Drink a lot of water. It's good for you. Stay hydrated, kids. And adults. 
because a lot of adults don't stay hydrated either. I drink significant amounts of water, and I really only drink... Bye-bye, Toad. Oh. Um, I don't think... Wait a minute. Okay, well, he's dead now. <laughs> Sorry, Toad. It's for the greater good, Toad. I sacrificed you for the greater good. Life Shroom, always good. Yeah, Terran talks. He's not one of the better bosses. He's He looks fine, he's just not that fun to fight compared to some of them. It's one of those really funky gravity platforms. I love how I literally just completely murdered Toad, though. I absolutely probably murdered him. Sorry, Toad. Okay, Terran Tox. Okay, that's fine. It got me into a better position. So basically, we have to hit all of his little growth things. Actually, no, we don't. We have to hit his butt. We just gotta hit him in the butt. That's first hit. And now we gotta hit him. You can only hit him once, unfortunately. They thought ahead on it. Got him. That's the first set. Yeah, Toad is dead. Oh well. There's plenty more of them. They seem to breed pretty easily, so, because there's so many of them. I don't know if I want to think about the mating habits of Toad. But now I've got it in your head, and it will be forever. So, that's too bad. The mating habit of Toad will now forever be on your mind as a question. I mean, there's got to be a, re a reason they're called Toad. I mean, they look like Chodes. They look more like Chodes than actual frog Toads, so... No crab emoji. <laughs> I feel like I know way less about emojis than most people, because I never really use them. I don't know. Never seen much of a point of it. Too lazy to learn or care. I talk to like five people a week anyway, so... New Galaxy. Oh, and the Hungry Luma's there. I will gladly save. Okay, so we have a secret in Space Junk. We have all of Battle Rock. Uh, let's go ahead and do this galaxy. Hurry, scurry. This is a quick one. Then we can do Bowser's Galaxy, and we got the other one. At, or we'll do the space. We'll do the space junk one first. All right, this one's pretty easy. But we do get quite a few star bits, so not going to complain. So the gimmick here, these green platforms fade away. What are you crying about? It's dangerous. What do you have to say? Okay, you tried walking it, then why'd it come back? I should probably spend a little more time talking to Toads in these games, just because in this game at least, because they can have some dialogue and stuff to them that someone probably worked hard on programming. Oh crap. That's not good. Are the notes in a different pattern than they used to be? This feels different. They feel a little more spaced out. That's... I think they're in different places. Slightly different places. If so, that's cool. You know, make it a little bit more of a challenge and all. Fine by me. 
Yeah, man, star bits are important. I mean, you need them for unlocking pretty much everything, so... Those definitely feel like they're in different spots. Or at least a little more spaced out than they used to be. I mean, it's been a long time since I've played this galaxy and all, but... I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. Alright, let's play this one a little bit safer this time. I don't want to die again on this galaxy. This is not a hard galaxy. And got it. Alright, that wasn't too bad. I was just dumb. One of the most fun things to do on this galaxy and the later one that's like this... Just, like, try to get rid of all of the platforms. I promise there's a purpose to this. I don't know if I'll be able to get all of them, but there is a purpose to this. Oh, I'm not going to get all of them. Yep, if you then do a long jump, you basically, like, float around the outside for a while. And you can, it goes even better if you get rid of everything. That's always a fun thing to do. I remember that from the old... Almost one-sixth of the way through the game already. Which that's about... I mean, I got through a quarter of 64 during that first stream. I didn't even have a good controller. Oh yeah, Fat Balloon Yoshi. I wish Yoshi had been a little bit more utilized in Galaxy 2. He could have been. Yoshi's a bit of an underused character. He deserves more credit than he gets. More gameplay than he gets. He's my mom's favorite character. Because I once got her a Yoshi Plus plush for a Christmas present. Because I didn't know what else to get that year. Alright, so we need 50 star bits this time. That's not too bad. At least these spiders give three, and they don't give you star bits if you stomp on them. They're very particular about how they wish to die, or how they pay you for killing them. Hmm, I guess I'm going to have to jump down probably to get a few of them. No, it's still a little bit short. That's fine. Yeah, we're a bit short. We're not having too many fall on the surface this time, so... That's why they gave us the little, uh, pull star there. It's all good. Just take a minute to look around. My favorite Nintendo character... That's a really hard choice. I mean, love Mario and Yoshi. Luigi deserves more love than he gets. Rosalina's pretty badass. Probably the best female character they have, or one of the best. Can't not like Wario and Waluigi, right? I mean, I like a lot of the characters. Nintendo doesn't really have a lot of, like, bad characters. The Pikmin, though, definitely the cutest things in all of gaming. Along me with Okami. Chibi Robo, that's a franchise that deserves more, uh, more credit than it gets. So I remember the original on the GameCube. It's, it's fun. Gets a little repetitive, but it's fun. Alright, Hungry Luma is fed. Transformers! And there's a Yoshi planet! Literally, like, the only time we're gonna see Yoshi in this game. Come on, come on, spin it, there we go. And now our goal! Squish the Goombas! And, like, the more of them you can get in a row, you get, like, a one-up if you do a bunch of them in a row. 
And I think it is, like, possible to get every single one of them in a single jump, but it's pretty difficult. Never done it myself. I think I remember that from when Shogun Conroy Let's Played this game. Man, it's been 10 years since he Let's Played this game, I think. It's been about 10 years. It's been close to it. That wasn't the Let's Play I found him on. I found him on Sunshine. Still one of the best Let's Players out there. I do fear, though, that he may have to branch out a bit in content more into streaming eventually. Because Let's Playing is not really that popular anymore like it used to be. Bobo Kent? Or Boko Blin. I'm not sure who that is. Because I know that Nintendo has plenty of obscure characters that I know less about. Because, like, pretty much all the other Nintendo people have moved on to streaming for a majority of their content over videos and Let's Plays. Shug has managed to still keep doing it, but I don't know if it'll last forever. Okay, can't do anything else in Space Junk for now. Uh, let's do Bowser. Oh, Zelda. Yep, that makes sense. I mean, the thing is, I don't have a whole lot of Zelda experience. I didn't really grow up playing Zelda the way I did Mario. Like, the most recent Zelda game I played at all was Breath of the Wild. And in all honesty, I really didn't like Breath of the Wild. Like, I just couldn't get into it. Maybe I didn't play it for long enough, but I played it for a few days, and I just really couldn't get into it. Didn't find it to be all that fun. And I usually like... <laughs> okay, then. Yeah, I grew up mostly on Mario and Pikmin and licensed games and stuff. Not, not really Zelda. Never was into it. I'll get that to replace the life I just lost. There was Wii Sports. Oh, that was way too close. That's a trippy platform. Yeah, my parents didn't play Zelda either. So I never really had a lot of experience with it. From that standpoint. Because my parents knew, you know, Mario. Even my grandparents know what it is. But, uh, Zelda was more obscure for us. Pikmin I only got into because of both Chugga Conroy and Lizard Guy introducing me to it. I'm glad that they did. Deserves more credit as a franchise. Deserves more entries as a franchise than it gets. All right, we're already almost to the boss fight. Oh, I hit that one a little faster than I thought he would. Uh, let's get this life shroom, just because I'm not confident. Man, he's wrecking this place faster than I remember him doing. I think he's definitely hitting that a little bit faster. Maybe they made a few parts of this game a little bit harder. Nothing wrong with that, obviously, but it would be a little bit surprising if they did. You finally made it, boy, ha 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 ha. Just in time for me to stomp you into space bits. You mean star bits? Space junk? Space cash? Okay, first Bowser fight's pretty easy. I mean, that's one thing about this game is that all the Bowser fights are pretty much each the same thing. Like, all the Bowser fights are basically the same thing. Yeah, I heard they just released the Pikmin shorts on YouTube or something. I remember watching them. It's been many years, though. Yeah, I remember watching them. But I heard that they just, like, released all of them on YouTube or re-released them or something. 
which is pretty awesome. Like I said, Pikmin deserve more, uh, more screen time. I'm sure I'll eventually buy Pikmin 3 uh, Deluxe Edition, the one on the Switch. I'll buy it eventually, probably not day one though. It's not worth 60 bucks per day one because I already have the Wii U version. It's not worth the full 60 to me. Now if it came with Pikmin 1 and 2, it would easily be worth that much. Oh crap, that was terrible. Oh, he might actually survive this one. There we go. The battle music's pretty awesome. And got him. Bowser dead. Oh, so it's an HD version of him, okay. Bowser dead. Foolish Mario, my plan is far too long now. We're already like a sixth of the way through the game, Bowser, and like a third of the way through the story. You only need 60, 61 stars, I think, to beat the game. The main story of it. That's literally only half the game's content. Yeah, Pikmin 3 Deluxe, it's gonna be fun, it's just not quite a day one for me. A little too expensive. Like I said, I already have Pikmin 3 for the Wii U. I still have my Wii U, and it still works great, and I still have games for it. That's gonna be worth something someday, because they're already worth a lot, actually. More than they probably would be normally. Just because I guess they didn't make or sell that many of them, because I know it was considered kind of a failure. Galaxy complete. I bet we got more than one. Three new galaxies. Another grand star power has returned to another dome. We don't have enough to go through the universe yet. Come on, Rosalina, make it work. I mean, technically, once something gets going in space, shouldn't it not stop unless it's acted upon by another force? Because once something starts moving in space, it slows. It doesn't slow down because there's no friction, no air, air resistance or anything to slow it down. By the way, back here, little thing to give you a map view of the world. All games cost. Yeah, I've heard that Canada games are like really expensive. I don't know why that is. I feel like most other countries they're more expensive than they are in the U.S. Except maybe like some of the Asian countries. I feel like games are definitely less expensive here. Okay, how much do you need? Oh, 400? I thought he needed eight. Or six, or more than what I had. Maybe they reduced it, I don't know. That'd be nice if they did. Slingpod Galaxy, this is a fantastic place to farm star bits. So I'm sure at some point between streams in the future, I will farm some star bits here. Just to where I'd be able to unlock all of the later Hungry Luma Galaxies, because they're kind of expensive. Like The later Hungry Luma Galaxies are like 2,000 star bits or something for one of them, and like 1,600 for another one. Yeah, I mean, that's just... I think I'm gonna pay an 80 bucks for a PS4 game is quite a bit. And then of course the PS5 games are gonna be $70 here. And uh, I'm sure that they're gonna come with all future DLC and stuff included, right? To where there will be no microtransactions to have to pay for. Wink wink. That was sarcasm. Alright, so yeah, this galaxy is great for farming star bits. Because I think you can just let yourself die and just be able to keep coming here and re-picking them up. So we've already got a hundred of them, so we've already got part of our investment back. You can still save yourself if you get hit, by the way.
Come on, grab this. What does it do? Although I should have more, a little more, like, money this year just because I'm not paying into the Fallout loot crate anymore this coming year, presumably. No, no, no! Ah, crap. Well, at least I get more star bits, but that was not intentional. I have 25 lives, or 26 lives, whatever. It's fine. Yeah, since I won't be buying the Fallout loot crates for the next, for year four, it's just, they aren't really worth it, and they're just too expensive for what they are for me. Yeah, I saw that all the DLC is going to be on it, but I still think that it probably is a little bit overpriced. I could have seen it going for 50 bucks, but I don't know about 60. When, like I said, you can still go out and buy it for the Wii U for probably less. Got it. Now let's grab the star. Got it. Hey, Nathan. You see, I'm not big into Animal Crossing, nor do I see it as being a good stream game. Because not that much happens in it a lot of the time. Kind of a slower paced game, not really the kind of game I would see as being good for a stream. Oh, the library's open. We'll go there later. Like, at the end of the game, once everything's there. Alright, so we've got another Fountain Dome we haven't even started yet. we got to start working on Battle Rock. It's probably going to be the last one I do tonight, though. But yeah, I don't, I don't think Animal Crossing would make for the best series to stream. I know very little of the franchise as well, unfortunately. Yeah, I've heard of being able to do that. It's just, it's, it's like I said, it's a game I don't have a whole lot of experience with or knowledge of or anything like that so like I said I just don't think it would be the best game to ever stream maybe I mean I don't even own an Animal Crossing game I don't think I mean Pokemon Pikachu was the first Pokemon game I ever actually owned it wasn't the first one I played but it was the first one I ever owned I don't know when slash if I'll pick up Sword and Shield. Probably someday. Yeah, like what you can do is you can change the system internals and it'll change the day in the game because it's based off of your real life days from what I remember. I played one of them. I don't remember which one. It was a long time ago anyway. Probably one for the Wii if there was one. All right, star bits. We need those star bits badly. This galaxy's pretty epic. Oh boy, the purple coin star here. That's gonna be a fun one, isn't it, guys? You know what I'm talking about if you've played this game before. You know exactly which one I'm talking about. That special bit of hell. Well, not as much this one as Dreadnought Galaxy. Dreadnoughts is a lot worse. Yeah, I like to... I've 100%ed some, some of the games on here. I've at least tried and made progress on them. But I've moved more away from Nintendo over the last probably 5 to 10 years. But I try to unlock whatever I can in most games, regardless of who, uh, of what game they are. I've always been a completionist since I was a kid. I wasn't even looking at the balls. Yeah, I've always been a completionist since I was a kid, so... 
usually focus on trying to do that whenever possible. Okay, so now we need to get a ba bomb. Uh, it's gonna end up destroying at least one of these. It's fine. I'll just blow up both of them. Get the extra star bits. It's fine. Clear out the path just a little bit. Guide him through. Ah! Goomba! Don't be a human shield. I don't really play mobile games. Too many of them are too pay to win. Ah, oh, couldn't get his attention. Well, this one's gonna end up hitting this one, so that's fine. What does this lead to? Star bits. I mean, I'm not gonna complain because, like I said, we're gonna need star bits in the future. Uh, come on, quit hitting every single interfering obstacle. But yeah, I mostly try to avoid mobile games. Too much pay to win and not usually... Don't really have a lot of time for that kind of stuff either. Busy playing my real games. I haven't played Dark Moon yet and it's sad because I know it's good. I've 100%ed the first Luigi's Mansion numerous times. In terms of beating it with all the booze and the best ranking. I've never done like an all money playthrough. Because that's just ridiculously difficult. Man, another new kitchen galaxy, and we haven't even gone there yet. Alright, we got two more to get in Battle Rock, plus presumably this one I know has a purple coin, this one also has a Luigi. This has the third Luigi. I feel like it's probably got one other comet. Yeah, I mean, I've heard good things about, uh, about Dark Moon. Even if it's not as well remembered as the first Luigi's Mansion. And isn't there a third Luigi's Mansion out that did well, but everyone forgot about? It came out, like, last year or something. Because I feel like there is a third one that came out, but everyone kind of forgot about it. Why did I stand so close to that? Oh, we got the Hungry Luma! What do you need, Mr. Hungry Luma? How many star bits are you in need of? Probably 30. Yep, 30. That's not much. That makes sense because there wasn't much of an option. Alright, so we need wherever the Babon generator is. Where is the bomb generator on here? So he's there. Down here? Ah, there it is. Well, 30... 30 things should be pretty easy. With a rainbow star here, that really shouldn't be that difficult. Actually, since I have them, I might as well go ahead and do that. Come on, get him. One, two more. Need the star bits. Got it. I will take 69 Teehee. Make that 70. Less Teehee. Yeah, I mean, I haven't played the third one either. I kind of forgot that it existed. Because I feel like a lot of the internet forgot it existed. I haven't played enough of the Kirby franchise. Oh, no. Yep, I know what this one is. I know exactly what this one is. I think most of us remember this one. Oh. Why does that exist? That's so pointless. 
Because doesn't he kill you if you fail? I'm pretty sure he kills you if you fail. Unless they change that. This is the ammo depot, not a garbage dump. What do people think they can toss their trash here and it'll magically disappear? Hey, we have plenty of bombs here. Maybe you could use them to blow up all this trash. If I made myself clear private. Now go clean the latrines. Oh, that was a horrible throw. This is going to take a couple tries, I know. These two are pretty infamous, because there's another one just like this later. These stars are kind of infamous. Alright, you want to throw them towards the little gold things on the ground. Oh, man. I would have had it the first try, though. I almost actually had it, and I screwed up multiple times. No, no, you gotta do it fast. There's always more. Come by later if you feel like helping. Oh, he doesn't murder you. I thought he murdered you if you failed. I always, I remember him murdering you if you failed. Maybe that was only in the original. That would explain the pipe. Hey, Brad. Glad you're enjoying it. I am too. It's, it's fun experiencing these games again. And this is a great old franchise. Oh, that's not the best throw I've had. Okay, got both of them. Alright, we got it. Jeez, blow up faster. Yeah, I'd love to see that as well. The 64 version, or the DS version of 64 plus Galaxy 2. Maybe throw in like Super Mario 3D World or something. Although I think that they're kind of already doing something with those. Oh man, it's 10 o'clock. Wow. Tom flew tonight. All right, man, two hours and 17 minutes. It's blown by tonight. Yeah, I don't know enough of Mega Man. Not good at it. Too rage inducing. And we got another chapter of the storybook. All right, I think there's two more stars we can get here for the moment. Because I know that there is a purple coin star. And I believe the last one is a Luigi star. Which means that we won't be able to do it until a bit later in the game. So this time, we're going to follow the main path. Yeah, the Mega Man games are tough. Unless you're an old school gamer that grew up with it, which I'm not. I mean, Metagal even had some annoying parts going for that Platinum. Because I had some difficulty with that boss fight in Metagal, and that's a Rattalaka game. Oh, this looks dangerous. And I also saw something underneath the platform. What was underneath? A secret? A 1-up. Not useful at all. Because as soon as I turn the game off, my 30 lives go away. Because that's how these games work. For some reason, I still don't really understand that. Oh, crap. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's not even... that's not even that punishing. I assumed it would kill me. Alright, can I even... Got it? Alright, so here... Uh, well... We can hit this and get some extra star bits that we're going to need later. I am also have not really played in much of the Metroid franchise. That's another one. 
French Canadian, cool, cool. There's invisibles up in Canada. Okay, I feel like there's totally something I can do here with this. Okay, I bet you can get up there. I don't think you're supposed to, but you could definitely get up there. I know a little bit of French still. I took it for so long, I should still know a little bit of it. I think for so many years, I should still have some knowledge of the language. Oui, croissant. Yes, croissant. Allez-vous. That's R-U, correct? It has been, even though I took it for so long, it's been a long time. It's been since high school. 10th grade. It's actually been since 10th. No, 11th grade. I took it in 11th grade. And epic scene there. It's everything blowing up. Oh, we're at the end of the level. I can still read the language and make it sound like actual French, but I could never write the language. I was never good at writing it. Baguette. Baguettes are delicious. Except they're nothing but bread and carbs, but they're still delicious because they're bread and carbs. Like those five fried Oreos I ate earlier. This is a food truck nearby that was selling all of the good carnival foods, and I got a thing of fried Oreos. And it was as good as it sounds. Also horrifically unhealthy. Alright, Battle Rock Galaxy. Is this Topman? The first Topman boss fight, I think. Come on, sync back up. Come on. It is. First Topman boss fight. I mean, so far for me with All Stars, this is where I am on this game. I've got, I think, 31 stars in 64. So about a quarter of the way through 64. And I have not started Sunshine yet. Saving that for tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna start on uh, I'm gonna start on Sunshine tomorrow, most likely. Make a drinking game out of it. It's like with Sunshine, I remember pretty much everything about the game except for the blue coins perfectly. It's really only the blue coins that are going to cause a problem because they're in weird places. Shifting Sandland. Good god, I hate that level. I remember that from the DS version. I hate Shifting Sandland. <laughs> Just like I, I, I hate most of the levels like that in these games. Dusty Dune is right up there as one of my least favorites in this game. Yeah, I love, uh, Gelato Beach is fun. I mean, I, I like a lot of the galaxies in that game. Okay, I think I gotta trick him into hitting this, right? Can he not? Oh, okay. I thought I had to trick him. I'm hoping to 100% the game, Fortnite. I mean, I kind of want 100% all the all three games in this franchise on stream at some point. Because I can do Galaxy. Like, I can definitely do Galaxy. And I can do Sunshine outside of the blue coins, which I would need to look at a guide for. Just... It's not even because they're necessarily hard to find, it's because they're some of them are exclusive to certain levels. 
and it's hard to keep track of. If it wasn't for that, it wouldn't be a problem. Okay, there's definitely a way you could go through this faster than I am. Come on! It's like it, it wants to work, but not quite. Just trying to speedrun it a bit, which I probably shouldn't because I would already be done. Oh well. Ah, uh, because it's someone's name, someone's channel name that's in here. Believe me, I wouldn't bring it up otherwise. I have no problem addressing people, though, with that in their name. Oh, that was close to being bad. But we made it up. Okay, those are death platforms, so we don't want to be on the wrong end of those. And down to the pipe. I know, I would love to see Nintendo have trophies someday. Or something like it. Trophies, achievements. The Wii U has accomplishments in some games. For some reason. They have accomplishments, but it's only in some games, and it's not quite the same as, like, trophy achievements. Okay, so do I have to kill these top maniacs? These top golfers? Top golf would probably be fun. I need to try that out someday. Looks like it'd be fun. And I'm not even a golfer, but it's it's one of those experiences that you should try out at some point from what I hear. Come on. Go on in. There we go. Uh, see you later, Brad. I'm, I'm not going to be streaming much longer. I'm just going to finish up this star and probably be done for the night. Doesn't seem like people are super, super interested in seeing this game, but I still probably will try to 100% a lot of it on stream, if not all of it. At the very least, the main story will be done on here. So you can pay that Luma for either a Life Shroom or a 1-Up. We're not going to do either, because we don't need either. Top Man! Alright, these little things are being annoying. He actually hit me, surprisingly. Okay, that's the first hit. Is it two hits or three hits? He's a fairly easy boss. He's a unique boss, but he's fairly easy. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit after 10 here as well. Okay, got both of them. Now I'll just knock you into the wall one more time. And we got him. Not too hard. Yeah, I'll, I'll stream more of this game. I plan to. I mean, not tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm doing sunshine. Sunshine drinking game. It's gonna be fun. Probably gonna end terribly, but it's gonna be fun. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for tonight. Made a lot of progress on this game. Basically did everything I could in the first, like, couple of domes. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. And I will see you guys tomorrow as we jump into Super Mario Sunshine. Which I am very excited for. 
It's probably gonna be something like a shot every other star I get or, or shine I get, so... Probably gonna go terribly, but should be fun. So thank you guys for tuning in, and I will see you tomorrow.